Well, new tonight, buying and selling homes. It's a process that looks a lot different because of the coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, News 8 Sierra Hignite has how buyers, sellers, and agents are making it work. It's an essential business, but trying to see a home, make an offer, and sell your current home, all while social distancing and trying to keep yourself and others safe is not necessarily an easy task at a time like this. Connor and Haley Klinkenbeard purchased their new home before the coronavirus hit when homes were flying off the market, but they didn't list their current home until a few weeks later. I mean, we put in an offer in uh, early March, and then by the time we listed our house, everything had completely changed. Showings have taken a dramatic drop where a seller used to have multiple showings in a day. Now there's only a few a week. Folks had more time to really mull it over and, and to think, which in reality is, is more of a traditional real estate market. Since the coronavirus, sellers have had to take more precautions during showings. The Clinkenbeard set up a sanitizing station for people coming into their home. But we had plastic gloves for everyone to use, and then um, Lysol, Clorox wipes, and also hand sanitizer. We also left all of our lights on um, before the showings so that people didn't have to touch anything and they could just kind of like walk through and take a look. Connor, who's also a real estate agent, found a way to allow people to see the home without ever coming inside. We also did a, a virtual tour. Um, so I started at the front of the house and, and took a video of me walking through and explaining what each room was and kind of the layout of the house. He posted the video on social media, YouTube, and real estate listing sites. I think the unknown about everything was what was the most scary. Things got even more unconventional when it was time to close on their home. Our closing was done curbside, so we were able to sit in our car and they came out with like a clipboard and uh, sanitized the pens and everything for us. Interest rates on mortgages are also some of the lowest that we've seen in decades, causing many to also refinance their homes. Reporting, I'm Sierra Hignite, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.